Hey there now. So I have some disappointing news. If you saw my last video on my strawberry crate tower that I DIY'd with the laundry basket, they were all flowering and doing really well. Um, a few flowers, I mean a few strawberries actually started to grow. Let me take you around here so you can actually see them. And then they just stopped and they started to shrivel up and become discolored. If you can see them there, they started to shrivel and become uh, discolored. And then this started to happen. Do you see all of the holes in my leaves? That's one of the bugs right there that has been eating, right there, that's been eating our strawberry plants. Um, this is my first time planting strawberries, so I'm really a novice at this and I'm not quite sure what to expect. Um, these are June bearing, they were bare root and they're supposed to be June bearing. And I thought that if we planted them early enough, we would actually get some berries this year. But upon further research, I've learned that we're probably not gonna get any berries this year. They're establishing themselves. And by next year, you know, God willing, we'll have some berries then. So I'm a little disappointed. My kids are a little disappointed also because they were expecting some berries. Um, for those of you that don't follow my blog, um, we are located in zone 8B. We are east of Atlanta, about 30 miles east of Atlanta. So we pretty much are warm all year round with the exception of maybe January and a little bit of February. We get a fair amount of rain. It's fairly humid here. Um, but our berries are not doing too much of anything. So those little bugs are all over. If you look at the plants, each one of the towers, there are several of the leaves that you can see um, that have been affected by those bugs. I'm not quite sure what they are. I think they might be strawberry weevils, but don't quote me on that, I don't know. But this is what it's doing to the leaves. So what I started to do, and then I said, let me stop and just come on and do a quick video. So what I started to do was spray them with some um, bactericidal dish soap. So Dawn is what I'm using, but you can use pretty much any dish soap, any antibacterial bactericidal um, dish soap. I've started to spray, and if you can see, it's already started. I just sprayed maybe three to five minutes ago. And as you can see, it's already started to kill off these weevils or bugs or whatever they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to spray here. And as you see, as I'm spraying, it's just leaving some soap on the leaves. This, from what I have read, should not damage the actual plant. It should just get rid of any pest. Um, and in this case, the pests are these little weevils or whatever they are, these little bugs. It should just get rid of those pests so that they will stop eating the leaf, the leaves. Um, what I've read is that when they eat the leaves, eventually they will get down to eating the crown. And if the crown of the strawberry plant is harmed, then you don't get any strawberries. So I'm trying to take care of my little plant babies here. I'm so saddened and disappointed by what's been happening. But I guess it's just, just part of gardening, right? Um, so yeah, guys, I was just coming to give you guys a quick update. You see the little berries that we had there are pretty much not doing anything. Oh, I'm sorry, let me move it out of the way. They're non-edible, so I'm going to go ahead and clip those off. We don't want them to drain the actual nutrients from the plant. Mommy. Hey, baby girl. Uh, it's okay, I can have a snack. Yes, you can go have a snack. Mama's going to finish doing her video, okay? Go have a yeah. snack. Um, yeah, that's my little three-year-old there. She'll be forcing. It's my little helper. But, um, I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed, guys, really. Just a little bit here. I was really excited about this. We had one berry that was starting to grow right there. And I'm not sure if our chickens got it or if something else got it or what. It just was there a few days ago and now it's gone. So... I'm hoping that this antibacterial spray works. Um, I don't know how often I'll need to come out and spray, if it's a one-time thing or if it's something that I need to do frequently. It's kind of just a go with the flow, 
see what happens because I really don't know. Um, I know something good is happening here because we have leaves. We have strawberry plant leaves and these were all bare roots. So it was nothing but a root. Kind of like this one, these here that haven't done anything. It just looked like that when I planted them and now we actually have leaves. So I know I've done something right. I just am not sure if we're gonna get berries this year um, or if the weevils or whatever that bug is that you saw earlier in the video has done enough damage to my plants where I'll just have to tear them all out and replant them. I really don't know. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I wanted to just give you guys an update if you've experienced this, please leave me a comment. Go to my Instagram, which is Mama's Ninny Milk, same as YouTube. Leave me some pictures of your strawberry plants. Be sure to tag me in them so that I can see. Let me know what your remedies for dealing with those little bugs are. Um, and I'll be sure to give you guys some more updates as these plants produce strawberries or don't. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. Peace.